This video is going to start out with the factory reset router. And the only thing that's been changed is I deleted the services that shouldn't be running and I also changed the password. So the purpose of this lesson is to explore the concept of secure DNS servers. What I mean by that is Microtech has a feature called DOH. It's a DNS server that's secure. It has a setup for this. So we're going to explore that. In the process, you're going to learn how to use the uh, terminal commands to some degree. So let's get on with this. Uh, first, you want to take a look at system DNS, IP, DNS, server configuration settings. And these are all standard settings. You don't have to touch those. What's different is this Verify DOH Certificate. You notice in our default factory reset, we have Dynamic Servers 192.168.5.1. And that happens to be what my router's plugged into, which is another modem router from Telco. So if we look at the static settings here, we see that our router LAN is 192.168.88.1, which is our, our router. So everything starts, every device connected, our router goes to here first, and he sends you over to this location right here. And then they go out and find your DNS server. We also have a cache ability here to look at what's going on right now. This is DNS server results being cached, and you notice with they used to have a timeout, and the timeouts eventually expire. So this is an intro, so we won't get into that real deep. So what we want to do is we want to use this procedure here that I set up. And what we're going to do is we're going to make our DNS transactions secure. This way no one can... No man in the middle can interfere with giving you the wrong DNS reports and having you go into the wrong websites in order to scam you in some way. So the first thing we do is we got we to gotta go fetch this certificate, which is required for any secure server. So we highlight it, click Copy. And go back to our router settings. And if you notice, we have this new terminal choice here. So we're going to right click and we're going to paste that command in. We press enter so that it does that command. So it finished and it says it, it finished. It downloaded 230 kilobytes of data took one second. So that's how we got the certificate into the router. Okay, next we have to import the certificate so the router can use it. In other words, we have to open it up and make it available. And that's the purpose of this line. So I'm going to right click once again, copy. I'm going to go back to our router back to a new terminal. I'm going to right click, paste, and we're going to hit enter. Okay, it finished added imported. It says 130 certificates and one file. I don't know what these things mean. That's just what the process does. Maybe someday I'll be able to explain that. Okay, our next step, we got the certificates imported. Now we got a set the DOH server to use to use the DOH server and also require certificates. So we come up here, we right click and copy. Go back to our new terminal, right click, paste, and hit enter to complete the action. So at this point we should in fact, as it says right here, we should have a DOH server, and if so, we can go to this address, which is website set up to test it. 
So let's go to that address and take a look. So we're going to highlight this. All right, copy. We're going to come down and start up our browser. Minimize the browser a little bit so you can see it. We're going to go to that location. And you notice what we have here is it's checking. If I can get this damn window dragged down. It's connected to it, yes. Using DNS over DOH, yes. Uh, using the other types, no. That's the name. So all the stuff is working according to their website. So now we should have secure DNS activity for anything that goes through our router. Now they go on here to talk about, uh, we still have original DNS servers active. So to harden the system, first need to add static entries for DNS IPs. So they tell you to go here to find them. I already have them right here. So let's enter in the static IPs for this DNS, this DOH function. So I'm going to right click, copy. Back to here, new terminal, which I already have. If you just hit slice enter, it takes you back to the root directory. I like to start there because most scripts you get off the internet already have, they assume you're in the root directory. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to paste, and hit enter. And it added all those lines. So let's go look at them. So over here we have static. You notice we now have DOH cloud server and we're verifying certificates. We have static. And the address, that's the IP6 addresses. This is the IP4 addresses, which we, we loaded all that just a few minutes ago. And that's the original server IP address. So at this point, we've met this condition right here. says with static entries in place we can clear the legacy DNS servers and that is if you want to take it an extra tip. In other words, if someone could force your system to go back to a legacy server, then it will find your legacy servers and it won't be a secure DNS connection even though you thought it was. So this syntax right here is going to do that for us. It's going to clear the legacy DNS servers. So we right click it, go back to our terminal, right click, paste, hit enter. Now it should have cleared, cleared our legacy DNS servers. And one more thing you probably should do, your clients would be, let's say your iPhone or whatever is connected to this router. They can also specify a DHCP server. So by using these parameters right here, we can prevent that. Don't allow them to use their own DNS servers. So we're going to copy this. And once again, go to the new terminal, right click, paste, hit enter. And we've now done that. So at this point in time, all DNS lookups done by the router are done using DOH and nothing else. I want to point out this at this time that if you get inconsistent results, sometimes your your computer itself has a DNS DNS cache issue. And here's the syntax if you want to eliminate that. And I'll show you how to do it. If it's still not working, I suggest, suggest you go here and do this. So we're going to copy that. We're going to start up a command line with administrator command prompt. And with this command prompt, we're going to right click for that and flush the DNS in the computer. And it'll tell you to successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. That's in your 
Windows 10 computer. So now we know for sure that that's not impacting us if for some reason this doesn't work. We have issues with this. So to prove it works, we're going to go back out to our Firefox, start it up, and we'll go someplace. Let's go to YouTube. Up here to YouTube. Sure enough, it works. So that was a secure DNS search. As you may or may not know, anytime you type in a domain name on your computer, it goes out through a DNS server and gets you an IP address, brings the IP address back to your computer, puts it in your browser, then the browser uses that IP address to go back out to the domain name you had selected. So this provides security in that process. There can't be a middleman in there misguiding you, such as to your bank or something. You don't want that to happen. There's a lot of, a lot of action going on in this area right now. And I suspect in the near future that will be a very common event to have all DNS searches secure. But currently it isn't. It hasn't been that way since the 80s when it first started. So it's long overdue. And this video shows you how you would do that on a Microtech router.